Hi everyone, Pastor Paul Krampitz. Uh, welcome to this series on Luther's Small Catechism. Uh, the catechism might sound like a pretty boring topic, but I'd like to suggest that it is as vital and important for Christians uh, as it was when it was first uh, written back in 1528. Uh, something old can be something very new again. In this uh, first session, before we dig into the catechism itself, I'd like to share a few things with you about catechisms and the circumstances that led to uh, Luther uh, writing his own catechism. Uh, the word catechism comes from uh, two Greek words, kataeko, which literally means to uh, ring back or to echo back. Um, as early as in biblical times, um, the word catechism was used to refer to instruction, where a teacher would teach uh, something of the faith that would be repeated or echoed back. Indeed, many of us who uh, have gone through confirmation classes, uh, particularly uh, uh, in several decades ago, um, we remember being required to memorize uh, portions of the small catechism and recite or echo them back uh, for our teachers. And so that's where the term uh, catechism comes from. Um, already by uh, 400 AD, uh, Latin-speaking Christians uh, uh, referred to the catechism. And in fact, as I said, even in uh, the Bible, in Paul, Galatians 6.6, 6, uh, Paul uses that term uh, to refer to instruction. Um, so what really led to the writing of the catechism, something which, by the way, wasn't invented by Luther, there were catechisms, as I've said, uh, already in existence. But Elector John of Saxony in 1528 called upon Luther, um, who was a parish pastor in Wittenberg, Germany, and a professor at the university there. Uh, he called upon him to go out and visit neighboring parishes. And when he did, Luther was appalled by what he saw. He saw congregations where there wasn't even a single Bible present, uh, where the pastor or priest was unable to recite the Lord's Prayer or the Apostles' Creed. Luther uh, writes of these abysmal conditions uh, that he found. And so he wrote a catechism based upon a series of sermons that he had already delivered on the chief parts of the faith, the commandments, the creed, and the Lord's Prayer. In Luther's time, parish pastors were required at weekday services uh, to preach on these three chief elements of the faith several times a year. Some of Luther's sermons on these topics were uh, written down and uh, served as the basis uh, for this catechism. Um, Luther has a couple of innovations, though, in his catechism that are worth pointing out. Um, one was this new order. Um, prior catechisms really emphasized what one had to do to appease an angry God. Um, and so the Ten Commandments were really the central part of those early catechisms. Luther actually changed the order, and he had the commandments come first, um, and then the creed, and then the Lord's Prayer, and then he added, actually, two other parts, the two sacraments, baptism and Holy Communion. Uh, Luther reflected on this order, and he said it was, it was sort of like a sick person going to the doctor to be diagnosed. And the Ten Commandments serve that function. They reveal our human sin or imperfection. Um, and then the doctor writes a prescription uh, the prescribed treatment is the good news of God's grace um, that we find in the Apostles' Creed. And then once you have a prescription, what do you do? You go to the pharmacy and have it filled. And Luther thought that same way of the Lord's Prayer and the sacraments, that we go to those things, to prayer, to baptism, and to Holy Communion to get what we need to be filled with God's grace 
hence the two sacraments known as the means of grace. So catechisms were very ancient things. There's references to catechism as Christian instruction uh, in the Bible. Uh, lots of catechisms around during Luther's time. Uh, Luther's two big innovations were uh, to change the order of the catechism to de-emphasize law and emphasize gospel, the good news of God's grace made known in Jesus Christ, and then also to add the two sacraments. He thought that those were incredibly important for Christian faith. Uh, what, one last thought I'll share about the catechism is that originally it wasn't in a book. In fact, the uh, chief parts of the catechism were printed on individual pages, uh, sort of like posters um, that sold for pennies apiece. And because uh, many of the people in Luther's time were um, illiterate, could not read or write, um, and because these were intended to be used primarily in the home, Luther also uh, commissioned woodcuts depicting biblical scenes to accompany the text of the catechism. And here you see an example of one such woodcut. So um, that's a basic introduction to uh, the catechism. I hope you'll stick with me through this uh, series. I assure you that uh, uh, it will be painless, um, and I think that you'll learn something new and surprising as we uh, revisit Luther's small catechism. Hope to see you next time. This is Pastor Paul saying goodbye, and enjoy the blessings of this day. <laughs>